We have breaking news. Longtime National Rifle Association Chief Wayne LaPierre announcing his resignation. The announcement coming as LaPierre is set to face trial in the corruption case brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James. We have CNN contributor Stephen Gutowski joining us on this. How big is this? And tell us what this means, but also what it doesn't mean. This is huge. I mean, Wayne LaPierre was a staple of the NRA and the gun debate for the last several decades. He was the leader of the gun rights movement in this country for forever. And he's been at the, the one at the center of a lot of these corruption allegations that are at issue in this New York case for the last four years. With, and he's refused to resign. You know, they had decided to fight this, it seemed. But uh, this really feels like an attempt, perhaps, to uh, try and find a settlement in that New York case by getting rid of the person kind of at the center of it all. Walk us through what the case entails. There were allegations that he was using NRA money to fund very lavish trips, et cetera. Yeah, that's exactly right. The allegations were that he diverted uh, him and other members of leadership at the NRA over decades had diverted uh, millions and millions of dollars from the NRA's, you know, nonprofit arm to their own lavish personal expenses, things like private flights, things like expensive suits, things like uh, luxury vacations overseas. Uh, and, and so that's taking money that is given by NRA members and there's, you know, that's how the NRA funds itself is with these members and using it for their own personal gain, essentially. If he's gone, does that necessarily signal a big cultural shift at the NRA or the NRA's contributions to sort of uh, political culture or no? I think it's really hard to tell what where this ends up after with with him gone. He was a survivor. He survived through multiple internal fights since the 1990s. This was not the first time that there was a big uh, blow up at the NRA where internal forces were fighting and there was outside scrutiny. Uh, with him gone, uh, his, his people who are now in place, Andrew Rulanundam, the new executive vice president, and Charles Cotton remaining the, the president of the NRA, those are staunch Wayne allies, and they have been for a long time. And I don't know that they're going to change anything philosophically about how the organiz organization approaches things, but it's really hard to tell because the guy who was the guy right. is gone now. Uh, he does cite, uh, we should point out, according to the NRA statement, health reasons as mm. why he is resigning. Uh, what comes next for him? He, he's obviously a, a huge figure. Yeah, and, and look, he's he is getting up there in age, and, and maybe this legitimately is health-related issues, and he just couldn't go on anymore because there wasn't any sort of sign that he was going to give up the fight, although it is the timing is pretty... Uh, pretty suspect on that front. The trial starts next week uh, in this New York case, and they, they, things aren't looking great for the organization at this point uh, as they had been going into this. But, uh, you know, he, it, it, there was a report that the IRS was investigating this because part of the idea is that he used NRA funds for, on personal expenses, and if you don't report on the, your taxes that you've done that, you could cause problems with the IRS, obviously. I, I don't know. We haven't heard anything since then, so it, uh, it's unclear whether the IRS is doing anything on that front. But, um, you know, and, and in, in theory, if somebody who wasn't friendly towards him regained control of the NRA, they could go after him as well for uh, how, he, how he used NRA money during his tenure. But uh, right now, you know, his allies are in control, and I think that's doubtful. Well, Stephen, thanks for being with us. Huge news yeah. here as we find out that the NRA has announced that Executive VP Wayne LaPierre, longtime leader of the NRA, is stepping down. Thanks again for being with us. Thank you.